For thousands of years, thousands of people have thrived on this land. This is a rich place. We know that it, it's one of the richest areas of British Columbia. It, its name is Pentlatch. Pentlatch has two meanings. One is buried belly. There's so much food that you're buried buried by your own belly and the other is satiated but the two are the same idea that this place has got so much food that you're literally buried by it. Students of I Call Rob Road were filled with wonder as they got to spend a morning with Comox First Nation archaeologist Jesse Morin. So we're here at Maclang Park beside Brooklyn Creek and, and we're in the remains of a, a large if not the biggest Pentlatch village sites um, and we're walking on and around these, the remains of these large uh, shell mounds that are the remains of big houses, ancient houses that probably existed here, stood in the same locations for hundreds of years. Uh, and these mounds slowly built up over time uh, with each family or each lineage owning its own house location and, and sticking put in this beautiful spot for centuries and centuries. This site uh, has been a very important site for the Comox people for a very long time. Between here and the actual marina where it is now, there would have been hundreds of canoes lined up. And it would have been a major salmon area, berry picking, shellfish, you name it. Okay, so you can see guys, we've walked down off of that one big shell mound. If you guys look really carefully, you'll see that this trail cuts right between another shell mound, right? You can see shell mounted up to your right and you see shell mounted up to your left. Uh, it's that there's no secret about this place. You know, this is, this is a rich archeological location. Uh, it's probably the best preserved Pentlatch village in the Comox Valley. The rest of them are all, almost all heavily, heavily developed and there's not much there. Uh, but this is a, a spectacularly rich site and, and we can see these remains so, so well that we can start to get a greater appreciation for the population here, how many people there were here, how long they were here for. Uh, and then it should be no secret, it should be something that we all celebrate as part of our, our shared heritage in this area. And I see some of the signs acknowledging Mac Lang and I see some of the natural signs here, but what I've never seen here are signs acknowledging that, that long history of people who've lived here. We've forgotten a lot of that history and the truth. And what I'd love for our students to know is the real truth and the real history of how we came to be a country, not just starting 150 years ago. I think this is probably the deepest mound. It might not be the biggest, but I think it's the most significant one here. Um, you guys probably noticed it as you came up here. You saw shells again on the, on the path. Um, you can see this big flat terrace here. Um, and you'll also notice that this creek comes right, right beside us. And I think that's really significant, this, this location itself. I've been told this by a number of Indigenous people and I've read it many, many times again and again that within a village, the highest rank household with the highest rank chief would be right beside the creek. Well, I think the students coming down here is a big thing because they're always so curious and they spot things a lot of adults won't. And if we can teach them at a young age how important this is, not just to us, but for history and that kind of thing in general. When you get the kids going on that sort of thing at a young age, they, they really learn the respect for it. And then they really start looking out for it. They share with their parents, their siblings, their friends. And that's how um, important issues like this get carried on by that younger generation. They, they don't even realize they're doing it. In the Comox Valley, we don't have evidence for these really ancient sites, but we do have really rich evidence for these more recent sites that all date to about the last 3,000 years. And that's where this site dates. Its oldest layers are about 500 BC and its newest layers date up to about um, 1800 AD. And that's the pattern we look at most of the big village sites all the way around the harbor. And there's another at least 15 within a few kilometers of us. And, and we all have that similar sequence of occupation. So lots of people all here together, living together. So this isn't the only, I think that's an important takeaway for these students as well. This isn't the only Pentlatch village. This is one of at least a dozen Pentlatch villages almost within earshot of here. 
this day was truly a day of discovery for students. As they leave this ancient Pentlatch village, they now have a better understanding of the long history of the people that have been here since time immemorial. <laughs>